welcome back to an episode of Mountain Blade, Solid and Shade. When we last left off, I had just beaten up a hell of a lot of other necromancers, and we had gotten the slightly more powerful necromancers due to my character being bumped up past level 10. There is a few things I still need to collect. As I recall, I specifically wrote these down. I need the six evil eyes, of which I only have one. I think I'm keeping that to make the Brolakans, which I'm still thinking I'm pronouncing terribly, terribly wrong. But then I also need one more diamond for the Philosopher's Stones, on top of whatever else I need for Philosopher's Stones. No. What the hell you were doing? Just no. This mouse, as you might have found in some of my other Let's Plays, provided you watch them, occasionally likes to be a little bit iffy, and chooses the ran random most times to do it. And we don't have the ability to get another one, because we're kind of a little bit of tight on money right now. But yes, heart, brain, diamonds, gold. Gold is easy enough, because that just requires me to get more requires me to get more uh, iron and then I can convert it after butchering corpses for the pieces that I need for the philosopher's stones to begin with however there is a dude right here I'm going to fight because more money oh my word it is foggy what how are you supposed to fight in this? Oh, hi. Fancy meeting you guys here. My horse charge was just insane. And how do you block, basically, an executioner's blade with a stick? Just a thought. There we go. I got one. And another. And again, he blocked it. Now, besides just being a little bit annoying in this game, the mouse acting up, which I'll hopefully fix by the end of it, isn't too terrible. Just the other game, games that I would like to record, that record today, would be a little bit more iffy. It's really weird because I know people are gonna say, "Oh, this, it's a cheat mouse," but honestly, my last cheat mouse lasted me probably longer than an expensive one would have, quite frankly. In fact, I don't even remember why I had to get rid of it. It's because it's probably something that it just stopped working because it was so old, but it never had a wearing down issue. Whereas this one, not even a couple months old, already acting like it's worn down. It's a little bit grumpy and annoying. And frankly, I don't like it in the slightest. I just clicked the done button without looting anything because of this mouse. Whatever, they probably had junk anyway because they were only acolytes. There is, however, a humongous amount of necromancers. Fell necromancers. Fell necromancers seem to have a mix of everything. Should I? Yeah, I will. I will, of course, save before I do it. Because that is a group of 16. They are actually outnumbering me to... Was there even more behind him? Oh my. Really? How difficult was it for you to not run into a tree? Oh yeah, this thing doesn't come with a shield, and it's still foggy as hell. They're not- they only have one person on horseback. Every person I can kill is more experience for me. Really? And again, I suppose I did hit you with the flat end of it. Who in the right mind hits someone with the flat end of an executioner's blade? I ask you. Come on now.
Ooh, I got the big guy. That was a little bit more experience. Okay, not a terrible lot compared to stuff like abominations, but I'll take it. And that was poop. And this will be poop too. There you go. I feel like swinging the axe, swinging the blade is just much better, quite frankly. More damage, better reach. I don't have to be quite as close. Hey buddy, how's it going? Oh, you're dead. Get rid of the guys who are kind of causing a little bit of an annoyance. Mainly because they're following people they shouldn't be. Hey, someone's swinging from me behind, but I want to kill this guy. Oh, another horseman. Oh, their reinforcements came in. You need to get off your horse. Get off your high horse. Problem is, they're coming in from the hill by the looks of it. Which is not quite what I'd want. Ow. Because since they're coming, from, coming in from the hill, they're more difficult to swing at because I'm slower. Ooh. That guy was 114 experience. I'll take it. For some reason, the zombies give more experience than the necromancers themselves. I don't even think I've really lost anybody, come to think of it. Hey, look, it's the clay golem. Creepy as ever. Oh, hey, that blue one isn't mine. Were you the same guy from the beginning? I can't swing at the horse because it's not counted as enemy anymore. Uh, three people were wounded, but not a single person was killed. Uh, let's release the revenants and take the abominations. And they have a lot of loot, and more importantly, more corpses. Okay. Corpses. Should go down here. And they get, gave another one of their shields. I noticed, I believe another one of those guys had a weapon that we couldn't actually make. Flesh burners, necromancers. I mean, those guys are coming after me. So what I'm going to do is save, and then go after them. I like how the other one saw the battle and then turned around. Like, oh, he's actually pretty tough. Maybe I shouldn't do this. And of course the abomination got in my way and stopped me from going up quickly. Hopefully these guys will be easy enough. They should be? There's a... Oh, they actually have beefier stuff, but I mean, an abomination, I just one shot. And you have a lot of. Oh, hey, level! You have a lot of the putrid people. Which I believe they are. They have more strength, I believe that is. Because burned is speed, and preserved, which is the blue, is more health. So, yeah, they're probably just hit harder. Oh, I delivered couch lance damage and I didn't even bother to look. I just saw the red and I'm like, oh, somebody died. You guys need to stop blocking because you'll give me a lot of experience. Oh no, someone did die. Since I plan on building the stronger people though, Having my people die is not the end of the world, because I'd probably have to disband them in order to hold all the things that I want to. Oh, you're dead. And you're dead. I killed all of the abominations by myself. I like that. That's a lot of experience. Adios. And that was it. Apparently we got all the horses, which I like, because that means I don't have to go chase them. Uh, yeah, one of my revenants was killed, but otherwise, clearly came out on top. 
Wish there was a take all button. Especially since this mouse is being grumpy. I may have to actually not record other things that I want to right now. Merely so this mouse can stop being... Legitimately, that's what it is. It's just being... I know it sounds stupid, but it's just being grumpy. Because at random times, it will do that. And I don't... I haven't figured out what I do or don't do that does that. Ooh, more candles. Let's take those... And the iron. I should be able to sell them everything I just got. Like, that's not even quicker. Just need to click firmer. And it works. And then it's working normally. See what I mean? Alright, we got three bits of iron. And then, the moment I say that, it's not. It just, just occurred to me, we didn't even get any corpses from that last fight. But I must pay a wee bit of money, that's fine. Alright, what's left? Some necromancers, some flesh burners, a lot of acolytes. But the acolytes, at this point, maybe? I mean, the acolytes are... Well, no, they bulk in patchworks and plain old zombies, so really it would probably be better to go after the more powerful things. So, let's see what I can actually upgrade. Ooh, another Shadow Knight. Demon can upgrade to another Destroyer. Set upgrade to... there we go. And the Revenant. To a Horror. Hopefully I can get rid of the Horrors soon. Because, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of having Horsemen. Even though I have the Shadow Knights, who will eventually upgrade to Royal Guards, which will be gigantic. Also, Raven, tell me about your skills. Uh, I don't really know what to do with you. I mean, you have tracking. But that's intellect, and there isn't really anything else that I could... Well, I suppose upgrade your intellect, upgrade your iron flesh. And there really isn't anything f else to you because you're a bird. Uh, let's do trade. Why not? That'll get me more money. Why not, right? Never mind. Click done. Go to character. You know, my mouse was working fine before I took a break to take a shower, and then I come back, and then it's just being bleh. Okay. Now, what did I want to upgrade on myself? I believe I wanted to get better riding for the other horse that I have. Or did I already get the riding to do that? Inventory. Well, I already have the riding to do that, so I don't actually know what I want to upgrade. Hmm... I mean, pathfinding is huge. Spotting is three, and it's only naturally two because of the thing that I have. My power strike is nice. I should probably think of upgrading weapon master and shield. Also, I believe I'm going to need more strength eventually. So you know what? You know what? Let's do charisma. Can't get anything because of the charisma. But prisoner management to have five more prisoners. Once I upgrade my charisma by two more points, I'll be able to increase my leadership, which will allow me to command more troops and also reduce troop rate troop wages. I didn't even know it did that. And put more points in pole arms. Apparently, we can't put anything else. Could only fit the one. Mouse is really bugging me. Uh, we got some stuff there. I think maybe we should head towards a town. See if we can get anything that we need. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of necromancers that we're passing up, but they're all small. They're all small groups until we come over here and realize there's a 54 or 58 set of fell necromancers. What I do is save. And go over. We will fight you to the end. 
charge the enemy. And let's go. We are coming in from a hill. Well, one of them died, and I killed one of their horses. Oh, I'm glad that guy didn't hit me, although I don't think he had it out for long enough to do couch lance damage. And let's go... <laughs> I did couch lance damage. Well then. Where do you... Ow? Was... Was throwing that entirely necessary? And you go away, and I really do like picking off the stragglers, quite honestly, now that I think about it. Ooh, I hit him when I was actually aiming for his horse, because I didn't think I'd hit him. Well then. <laughs> no? This is why I hate fighting in hilly terrains. At least with a horse. Like, yeah, I really like hitting them at range with the horse and just picking them off. But because they're on a hill... It messes up my aiming. Like it's more it's just naturally more difficult for me to hit them. And you should be there you go. Oh hey, they have reinforcements that includes a lot of horses. All of the same type. I mean honestly if I were to get like say specifically a congenent of horses I would probably have them all be burned for the main reason that they'd be faster and therefore screw with the enemy some more that is what I was afraid of that is why I was afraid of all theirs all their horses but I have such tough armor that that they aren't doing a terrible amount of damage to me, actually. I mean, if they hit me from the back, that obviously does more. Ow? And, you know, if I get charged from the back like that. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of and why I hate their horses. Also, the sword is not best considering I need to... Act I actually need some range between me and them to hit, and the AI are really bad at allowing you to do that. And now I gotta wait for my horses to do anything at all. I'm just going to swing randomly to hope to help my mouse from not being so terrible. Every time I was swinging, that was me clicking. Hold it down. I'm still holding it down, and it's actually not scr screwing up. No, get back here, you horse. I was going to mount on you to just have a horse. Oh, wow, shift actually zooms in. <sighs> this is also why I hate getting knocked off my horse. There we go. At least I have something, and the battle's already over. There was one thing that I worryingly saw when I when that happened. Was that my horse was crippled. Yeah, that's much better. See? All I had to do was just keep working it and it's fine. Don't ask me why. It's now lamed, because it was crippled. Which means it is much slower than it was before. <sighs> Let's hope one of the other things that I want to make gets me a better horse than that, but for some reason, I'm guessing that's not going to be the case. Do you have anything I need? No, so I can't sell anything to you. I mean, there is some nice people I could fight over there, but at the same time, I want to go trade in, in a trade city to try and get some more stuff to build 
the suits of armor. Oh my, ooh, it's the last diamond that I need. Oh, if I click these in order, it'd go faster. Yes, that is the last diamond that I made, that I need. Do you have candles? No. Because I still need uh, candles and crystal. I believe if I teleport to old Zendar, I don't have a lot of loot. Hi, Blood Fountain. How's it going? Sounds good. I mean, I didn't write down how many candles and crystal I had, so either I was stupid or I don't actually have enough. That is the last diamond. And I have plenty of eyes. I have all six eyes already taken. But yeah, unfortunately, I, do, I lack any amount of candle and crystal. Which is a shame, because both are marginally difficult to find. Candles are pretty easy enough to buy, and crystals you can actually get from grave robbing but it's still going to take time to get so let's go over to Ayike don't, don't really know if that's actually how you're supposed to go about it and you got nothing I need let's go over to Arduna and there is mountain bandit in the way I frankly don't give a dang about you uh, I'm actually close-ish to leveling again. Because I killed a lot of things, they gave me a lot of experience. I think I'll hit these two towns up here before going Dirim. Uh, I'll always buy the iron. Because any iron I take, I can make more money off of as a result. Because alchemy. King Yargolek won the tournament that I decided to not do. I don't really know how tournaments work in original Mountain Blade. I'm sure it's probably not as different as Warband, but eh. I really wish I had that book that allowed me to make things, because wax would probably be helpful. Buy supplies from peasants, candles, crystal, done. Uh... Didn't I need more silver? I'm going to not buy the silver, but I'm going to look at the Brolakens. And the mouse is acting up again. I swear to God. Brolaken. Four silver. Yes, that's what I thought. Wanted to second guess myself to make sure I was right. Didn't one of the towns I passed up have silver and I completely blew it over? Was that silk or wool or whatever? Whatever it was, just, you know. Marketplace goods. You make 50 bajillion tools. Oh my word. But you have the last bit of silver I need and you don't have anything else. Let's not leave. Go to the tavern. Hey, look. Hireable acolytes. I didn't even... I mean, I th believe I th think I remember that being a thing. I can actually look in your face without you trying to kill me. I think those are drawn-in eyes to the suit to make it look creepier instead of the person's actual set of eyes. Right, bum, really? So it doesn't matter what you pick up, they will always sell for 50. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to keep them in order to butcher them for things that I need. Now, let's go over to Iberian. Question, is it in this? No, I don't remember if it was a mod or if it was actually in Warband. You know what? Let's attack the bandits. Let's help the populace for no particular reason other than I want stuff from them. 
That was just suddenly everything. But these guys are just... These guys are forest bandits. They can't even injure me. He says as his horse is receiving gigantic amounts of damage. For a second I wasn't swinging there. And I think they were just stopping me. Things are getting hit so fast that I'm not even getting the pop-ups quick enough. But I did level from that. So there you go. Wow, they're all 88 experience each? Holy crap. Okay, I take it back. I did that for the experience. Because obviously, I got a lot from it. Where's the last one? Really? Just one guy over there? There we go. Uh, screw it. That'll give me honor, and I'm not sure if honor is even something that I need, but it looks like they didn't have a whole lot to give to begin with. Okay. Basically, I'm going to travel around to get some more loot, because I've leveled enough in this video alone that I would like more loot. Uh, didn't I upgrade? Pr I can probably upgrade it again, yeah, because that required... That's based on intellect. However, I'm not going to pass up a group of 45. Let's be honest here. Yes, it's dragging me a little bit back, and I'm probably going to have to end up fighting in the forest, which is a shame. Oh, a hilly forest. Even better. But I'm not going to pass up such a large grouping of enemies. Because that is a large grouping of experience just waiting to be taken. That guy was literally just standing there looking at me threateningly. Alright, you... Could I... Alright, could I hit anybody? Apparently, even though these guys count as fell acolytes, or fell necromancers, because they do a little bit of everything, a bulk of their force seems to be burned, which means they're really fast. Why do I keep swinging in that direction? It's more difficult to swing in that direction, because it's off-handed. Okay, maybe not actually, whatever you're supposed to call it, it's not actually off-handed, but I'm swinging in the wrong direction of what hand my weapon is in, meaning I have much less range and probably less damage. Alright. Is that horse mine? Yes, it is. Hopefully I can get rid of that horse fairly soon and just leave the Shadow Knights to break the charge. And hopefully the Shadow Knights can eventually be leveled up as well. And that was it. I only got a couple kills because of the stupid terrain. But we got more loot. A lot more loot. And another corpse to fuel the fire. Let's just take everything. I'm going to be going somewhere to buy stuff. I already checked Mechan. Although true, it might have regenerated by now. I want to head towards Suno. See if I can get anything nice over there. Go to Nomar, I'll go to Reluns, and I'll check Suno. No, you have Jack and also Poop. There's also the town of Ambine, which I know is has something in it. <laughs> Fine. You know what? I'll attack the bandits again, because the bandits apparently give me more experience than attacking acolytes for some reason. Oh, they're mount... Okay, not a lot of them are mountain bandits, but they're still mountain bandits. Actually, their they're class is generic bandits. That's going to be really painful. Really annoying. Right. Riding a horse barefoot? I mean, since they're bandits, I don't think they have any stirrups, but still. It's, that'd be kind of weird. I don't... 
I, I want to say it'd probably not be comfortable, but quite frankly, I don't think it would really matter. Because you're, you know, on a horse. And you don't have to put them in any stirrups. Unless the bandits actually have stirrups. But, for some reason, I doubt it. That guy is literally just standing there like, Well, I made poor life choices. Oh no! One of my horrors died. That's an that's an abomination I can't have. Oh, because there's this this one loser right here. Okay, there's actually another loser, but still. There you go. No more horse for you. And he got knocked unconscious. It just occurred to me this the destroyers have giant maces so they can't kill people. Do you have anything I need? You do. You have iron and can. I don't have enough room. Well, I will sell some of those, take the candles, and then I will give you all of the loot from one of my acolytes. One of my ne fellow necromancers that I killed. And then I'll act. Oh, I'll actually receive money from that. I need to take away something that was a lot of money. Probably. Uh, no, I sold backwards, so. See if 31. There we go. You know what? Screw it. Let's go to Ambien. Those are plague doctors. I. Eh, I don't really care. I really want to actually get the items. Really, really badly. Go to Ambien. And go to Suno. By supplies, you got nothing. I could walk around and... You know what? Screw it. I'm going to save and then walk around Ambien. See if I find anything. If I don't, oh well. Is there anything behind me? You know, like how the forlorn man was? Doesn't really look it. Did I just hear an owl? I didn't even think there was... Oh, wait, no. The, look, Hey, look. There's something clearly over there off to the side. Little hut on the other side of the village. It's clearly, very clearly a werewolf. That very creepily doesn't move. Caught you, Mon. Crossbones closes the space between you in the blink of an eye and everything fades to black as he knocks you with a skull club, leaving you helpless for his gruesome experiments. <laughs> your wounds are many. Though you try your hardest, you cannot draw breath. Your world spins in darkness and the last thing you hear before your heart stops cries of ravens. Ravens getting ever closer. You are dead. Well, it's a good thing I saved then, isn't it? That was Crossbones. As you could tell, he is very, very clearly a werewolf. How me, a high priest in necromancy, couldn't overcome a werewolf, I don't know. But you cannot actually do anything with him until you have become a werewolf yourself. You have candles? You have so many death parts for no reason. From what I could tell, there is nothing in Suno that requires death... That... The there is nothing in Suno that used is part of the story. Unless there is a deep hidden thing in Suno that wasn't even in the guide. I have a lot of iron. I probably have the gold to actual the things to make the gold. Come to think of it. Uh, th well, I have 15 corpses, so it doesn't matter. I am actually going to do that before closing out the video. I'm going to turn... I'm going to butcher a lot of corpses. I'm going to do butcher all so I get the blood included in them. But first, I'm going to go to Old Zendar to put as many things away as possible. And since I had to reload from getting myself killed, I have to zoom into first person again. 
So let's put the four silver away. Actually, I can take the four silver back to make the burlakans. So take the six diamonds. And I only need six iron on me, and I have that. Let's take those. And that is... I need the oil, don't I? And then camp, Economicon, all the way to the Burlakans. You melt four silver bars and pour them directly into the mouth of the corpse. You then shove the evil eye between the corpse's jaws, douse it with oil, and set it on fire. When the body is almost fully burned, four jets of very black smoke begin to pour out of the corpse's mouth and coalesce into four shadowy, shadowy burlakans. Once they are fully formed, awaiting your orders, the evil eye explodes. Did they have enough? Yeah, I had. I had not enough room actually. Let's upgrade some people. Because I can. And let's look at them. Oh! 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 That's interesting. So, they are a step down from the hom homunculus. Also, they're just a ball of black. <laughs> Literally just a ball of black. It's actually kind of creepy, quite frankly. I have quite a lot of health, actually. But the thing is, they come in groups of four, homunculus only come in groups of two. If I... no... If I go to the homunculus, two silver, oil, evil eye. So really you're saving on making the evil eye, which considering how difficult it is apparently to get the, ki get the crystal, that's actually a good thing, but it requires more silver and oil and you have to spend a little bit of work to upgrade them first. So it's a little bit of give and take, but now I have officially done everything of the Necronomicon. I don't think that makes a difference, though. Apparently I bought another bit of oil and I didn't need it. Well, I want to make more of those things eventually because the homunculi, are their upgraded forms are really good. But now I am going to make the most powerful thing in the game or suit of armor. Uh, you know what? I have so many people, I may as well just butcher for butcher for 6 bits of blood. Specific parts, blood. That's two. Going to take a sip of a drink while I do this cuz there's a little bit of itch in my throat. Okay, that's four, five, and, well, I guess six, even though I didn't want to butcher something into everything, because now I need to go to Suno and sell it. Hey, you take these uh, pieces of crap here. I have six bits of blood. I'll put my evil eye back where it's supposed to be. And now I need five more things of the heart. The brain and the heart. Two. A three. I didn't want to open old Zendar. A four, and oh, I don't have corpses. Sacrifice corpses. A five, and a six. And then I want to go to High Priest, Iron Gold times five and then do it again for another one. Adept, summoner, 
priest, iron to gold, yes. Open, I believe it's adept, yes. It feels so weird to make six of these things, when it was so difficult to make one originally. It's funny how diamond, how common diamonds are, quite frankly. Like, I got six quicker than I could, than I've gotten the crystal. Which is very clearly a step down. Uh, one more. I've, I wasn't counting, so I needed to go check. Okay, that is six Philosopher's Stones. Oh my god. And I have a few corpses left for more food. But now, I definitely want to go to Old Zendar. And make the most complicated suit of armor in the game. I can't upgrade anymore. That's a shame. Artificer's tools. And in order to make the Shadow Lord's presence, I need six evil eyes. Jesus Christ. But now I have the Artificer's tools. That's not as good, but it is plus to spotting, while that is plus to tactics. Hmm. 56, 18 doesn't require strength and it's this it's really the same thing that's the same thing but it's prisoners management artificer's hammers is the same but doesn't require doesn't give any bonuses the artificer's man catcher you know what screw it I'm going to ride in a vehicle also I forgot the weapon that you get right here. Artificer's Blunderbuss. Damage 62. I believe. Oh, the Artificer's Bearings. I was going to say, I probably need to buy bullets, but there we go. Uh, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put those there. I'm going to put this here and get rid of the throwing items. Also, there is the Artificer's Wheel, plus one to pathfinding while equipped. It's actually a better shield all around, although it's smaller. And yes, he uses a wagon wheel as a shield. But I am going to put all of those, I'm going to sell the old Flesh Burner's Panic, but I'm going to put everything else away, or possibly just, no, I'm going to keep the Artificer's set just for fun, and the Ar Hellraiser's and the Blood Preserve, so I'm basically going to keep most of everything, but I'm, I'm going to sell the Hellraiser's Torment, because I feel like this thing is more fun. It doesn't have as much armor, but it has a lot more charge, because of obvious the thing on front in front of it, but come on. Who wouldn't want to ride in a little ancient car? But that is all for now. When we come back, we'll hopefully find the rest of the things for the last suit of armor that we need. And then all we need to do is level up enough and I will really start looking at what I need to actually get more of the various things to advance through the story. But that is all for now, so until next time, see you later.